Hello, I'm Dr. Anandita and uh, today I'm going to talk about a topic that I see very often discussed uh, in papers or in videos or journals and also a lot of clients with acne will suddenly come up to me and ask, Doc, is this fungal acne that I have? So the topic that I want to discuss is fungal acne. acne and how is it different from regular acne that we have normally been seeing and prescribing antibiotics for or salicylate cleansers. So fungal acne obviously it is caused by an excess of moisture in the air, excess of sweat and in ideal circumstances there would be no hormonal issues or no uh, you know other bacterial issues that we normally associate with a typical acne that will start with excessive oil production, hormonal causes, blockages of oil glands, clogging of pores. Fungal acne will typically manifest in the uh, monsoons and one of the characteristic features is that it will always present with some kind of itching. The presentations clinically also they are usually seen as clusters of red bumps sometimes as white tip pustules but they will usually always come with a history of itchy itchy bumps and come up mainly on the forehead on the hairline on the back arms and shoulders it can also come after friction after shaving waxing or using hot water so when you have this history a sudden outburst of crops of red bumps itchy bumps on a person who's had no previous history of acne and also who is not responding to the typical acne medication like a clindamycin or a benzoyl peroxide or even a salicylic base work you kind of can get it into your mind that this could be a fungal acne or acne due to humidity or moisture in the air now how do we approach fungal acne so obviously the first step is minimizing the causes so avoid touching your face too often be very particular about the you know hot tubs that you might be using or the public uh, washrooms that you might be using because fungal acne will usually come because of a shared infection so the environment has to be clean cleanse or bathe regularly to wipe off the residue and to wipe off the buildup use an antifungal face wash or a body wash as well as a shampoo use light makeup and fungal acne will typically not resolve with a 2% salicylic uh, you know, face wash or a benzoyl peroxide but you might need a local antifungal cream to treat it for a couple of days. When it comes to oral antifungals, I am a little careful about whom I am prescribing it to because of the side effects of gut issues that it can cause. So I would evaluate the person uh, properly, see if uh, you know the person is married or maybe planning to conceive soon. Then I maybe hesitate on people who have very sensitive gut issues. But I'll you know depend more on topical antifungal agents. Again, my emphasis would be on a one-to-one -one consultation because from a general hearsay or from a general recommendation that we see on videos or on stories it is very difficult for one to assess whether it is a bacterial and fungal acne and in either case the correct treatment is extremely important because we could be treating fungal acne with antibiotics and it would not you know go away for years and in the same case if it is natural bacterial acne and we put antifungals it is the same story we will never be able to treat it and we might actually end up having the skin more and uh, at clinically this is exactly what we do we give you the opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation virtually it's very easy and the doctors are available at all times so please connect at for a one-on-one -on -one consultation to get the exact remedy for your concerns so far I've not really uh, made uh, done any discussions on the acne so I would like all my viewers to comment on your specific acne concerns because acne is a very wide topic and if you message me, if you DM us your specific concerns, we will create a whole new playlist along the acne story and hopefully come up with a lot more suggestions to benefit and treat your acne.